don't do it. All right, so next, because why? Because you're just ignorant and you hate yourself and your kids. I mean, you could go to a clinic and get that done, but as far as you trying to have a whole black person in your life because of that? <clears throat> next. Don't. Don't mess with a black person. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is very important. Don't use offensive phrases and learn what those offensive phrases are. I'm going to give you five. One, nappy. Two, if you're in the South, country. Three, ghetto. Four, nigga shit. Five, hood shit. Yes, a lot of, excuse me. A lot of things are nigga shit. A lot of things are hood shit. A lot of niggas do have nappy ass hair. A lot of niggas do do ghetto shit. A lot of niggas are country because 70% of the black people last time I checked about five years ago lived in the South. But as a white person, I don't think you should be saying shit like that. Honestly. Honestly, even if you grew up in the hood. Okay, hood shit, that's pushing it, bro. That's on the. I'm on the fence with that. If you said some hood ass shit, that's some ghetto ass shit. I'm from I'm from here. I'm from North Memphis. I know what hood ass shit is when I see hood ass shit. Okay. But n I don't think any white person should ever in God's existence say nigga shit. I think that is horrible, bro. I think that's horrible as well as deplorable. Alright, so next just don't do it. And then I want you to go I want you to go to 1995 and go to freak nick and just learn what the fuck you should not be saying around black people bro all right so next i don't think if you are if you're a black if you're a white girl i don't think you should mess with a black man that is not like big ass humongous ass booties if you don't have a fucking big ass booty get one but if he admires your small little your small little pancakes Nah, something wrong with that dude, bro. Something wrong with that brother. <laughs> nah, I think that's weird, bro. I think if you're black and you like small booties, there's something wrong with you, bro. Something wrong with you. I'm not even going to speak on why I feel like I should put that in. You know what? I am going to speak on that. Because the last person that Liz was with, one of the last persons that Liz was with, he didn't want her to have an ass. It's in my opinion. I think that, I think that brother like niggas. And he was African, and not only was he African, he was a dark ass Nigerian that liked women with little boobies. I don't think that's correct. I think it was something wrong with him. I think I don't mean wrong, but I think he had other intentions, other interests. You feel you get what I'm saying? But uh, other than that, um, my next point is. Don't mess with a black person that would never date a dark-skinned person. And I put a post on Facebook. If you mess with a black man that like that does not like dark-skinned women, it is, in my opinion, that that guy probably likes dudes. And, of course, I didn't post that long-ass post. But if a black person, first of all, if a black person doesn't like a dark-skinned, wouldn't date in any circumstances, a dark-skinned person they hate themselves they're racist and they are so insecure oh i can't date a dark-skinned girl because her her genes gonna be more dominant than mine i want my kids to look like me nigga you don't know that bro you don't know that and it's so the fuck what you hate yourself that motherfucking much you don't know this person's this child's soul is in you you don't know this motherfucker is gonna get something from you nigga you know what you're doing is wrong. You know your thought process is wrong. You know your dumbass watched too many Power Rangers. You know that you watched too much Baywatch when you were growing up. Especially if they were born in the 90s. Come on, bro. If you're black and you don't like dark skin women, you need to evaluate what the fuck you do with your time and what you do with your brain and what you have done to your brain to make yourself catch that illness. But next... Don't mess with a, a black woman or a black man that only wants you because you're white. And that goes back to the first thing I said. They have a mental illness. And what I'm saying when I say that, a, a person, two things, two things that will identify somebody who has a personality disorder or some kind of mental illness pertaining to their racial background 
if number one if they are not scientifically google it do the research don't listen to what i'm saying 100 percent and go home and tell your mommy and then she tells you you're wrong and then you're like oh it was wrong no google it bro get the facts first hashtag snapple fact nation if a person is not sexually attracted to somebody who is their race they are mentally ill that is a form of mental illness if i am white and a white woman can't get my dick hard mental illness if i'm black and a dark-skinned chick cannot get my dick hard mental illness if i'm black and a <laughs> light-skinned chick can't get my dick up, mental illness if i'm black and a latina can get can't get my dick mental illness okay and the nigga might just be gay which is why i said that Secondly, if you're not racist in some form, oh, black people can, black people can do this the best. White people can do this the best. Irish people, Irish is not a race. Fucking Latinas can do this the best. Even if you are, if you're like, all right, maybe not all Mexicans, maybe not all Colombians, maybe not all Brazilians, but just the women, just the men, just the ones from this part, and nobody else. If you don't feel like that, if you don't think that and know that. They say that's a form of mental illness. Am I a doctor? No, I'm not Dr. Umar. But mental illness, bro. Mental illness. Google it. Google it, Dominique. I, th I done told you, G. I done told you. It's the alternator. Some motherfucking alternator. They probably need their alternator fix if they think that. It's probably the alternator. But, uh, yeah, shout, shout out to Jeremiah Phillips. Uh, shout out to the whole Milwaukee, bro. And then next, if you're going to be with somebody that's not the same race as you, and they leave your stupid ass, or you're not even the stupid one. They're just a fat. They're just somebody who can't handle what their lifestyle, or they don't want children. If they leave you, don't force this person to hate that race, bro. And a lot of people do that. Oh, your dad left me, and you're, uh, you're black. So don't listen to any rock. Never eat any soul food. You shouldn't eat soul food mostly. Never fucking watch BET. Never hang out with any black people. Never don't know. Don't talk like that. No, because that's some that's jungle tongue. You don't need to be doing that because that's what a black person, a jigaboo monkey porch would do. Don't do that. Come on now, be a be a real white. You're not even you're half white. Don't forget about your no. You shouldn't forget about your half white side, but don't force don't force your children to be racist against and to hate themselves. Don't force them to be. You have the force. They have no permission to do anything. You have the power, bro. You do. And when you take your shit out on them because of whatever the fuck, whether it was your fault, whether it was whether that nigga was beating the fuck out of you and you had to call the police and the nigga got kicked out your house and now he caught a body he's doing 35 years and the nigga doesn't have a dad anymore, don't force the person to hate themselves because they're black and now oh i don't and you run into one of the a lot of the bitches aaron moses fuss with oh i don't i don't really date black guys but you're darker than me you don't date niggas you stupid bitch because your mom right oh i only like white guys and i like mexicans that's it you're stupid you're dumb because your dad left you and your mom has a white nigga in the house raising you you're dumb not now, not raising you, but you know what I mean, whatever the fuck. But uh, the dudes, bro, the dudes, and this is going to be quick. I'm going to wrap this up, and I might end it with a little something. But, dude, if you're a white, if you're a white woman especially, listen to what I'm going to tell you. So, first, learn how to cook everything. I'm talking about Indian food, Mexican food, all kind of Chinese food, everything. Learn how to cook everything. I would even say... Learn how to cook everything but soul food. Okay? Why? Because niggas don't need to be eating soul food. You know why they call it soul food? Because that shit will get you in touch with your soul when you die. Because that shit will turn your fucking body into a soul. Grease, butter, cheese. Nigga, I don't know. Learn, learn how to eat every... Learn how to cook everything but soul food. Okay? If you learn how to cook soul food, you might as well take the niggas to McDonald's every day. That's what soul food is. All right? Shit that'll turn your body into a soul. All right. So, next. Um, learn about biology. Why? Because biologically, there's so many things that 
separate white and black people. I'm not going to go into that. But, I mean, all people should learn biology. But if you're with somebody, you should be able to identify just off the strength the differences and the similarities of a black person and a white person. Because you know what? I'm going to just say this real quick. I'm not a conspiracy theorist, but melanin is... I want you to go... I want you to research this. There's a market for diamonds. There's a market for silver. There's a market for copper. There's a market for uh, gold. There's also that another market that's bigger than all of these put together melanin okay there's literally melanin for sale by the ounce by the gram by the pound that's real you know what they put on the outside of spaceships synthetic mel melanin you know why because melanin does not burn you know how spaceships are able to go into space and return because melanin protects that fucking spaceship from catching on fire and exploding snap effects all right do that research by yourself though so next meditate why because if you're gonna be white and you're gonna date a nigga niggas have crazy ass families a lot of the times most black people 90 percent of black people have ties to the hood they're gonna bring you to the hood they're gonna bring you around these loud ass black people that go to church a little too much that don't read enough okay not all black people are like that and not all black people from the hood are like that but it's gonna be something you're gonna be you're gonna be initiated you're gonna be tried you're gonna be felt out and if you respond like the crazy ass white person that's just not gonna be good it's not gonna be good for your children because they're gonna talk shit about you and try to brainwash your kids and it's your household is gonna be different if you're perceived as the crazy ass white person so learn to be grounded Learn to meditate. If you low, if you know how to meditate, meditate harder. All right. But the worst thing I feel for a white person is for a white person to be. Oh, that's the oh, that's the Eminem nigga. Yeah. Yo, what's up, Slim? Sh uh, what's your Sean? Yeah. Don't be the crazy white person that's fucking their cousin. All right. Don't. It's very. It's not very simple. I'm not gonna lie to you. Black people push buttons. And they keep, and they will jone the fuck out of you. They will roast you to all oblivion, bro. But you still got to be grounded, bro. I, I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. I'm with you. I got your back. I'm giving you this. Meditate, bro. Meditate. We got, you already, I mean, I should have made this video before Thanksgiving. But next Thanksgiving, you're going to be on point. I got you. All right. So next, go to a black church. I'm not going to tell you why. Just do it. At least once. A, a, a Baptist church in the hood, do it. All right, and get and bring a gun with you, cause you know how you motherfuckers like to shoot up black churches and shit and do all kind of. But next, if you're a white woman, do some squats, do some squats, eat some cornbread, start eating a whole bunch of cereal, cornbread, peanut butter and jelly, and uh, do some squats and get back to me. If you if you don't want to eat cornbread, peanut butter and jelly and cereal, uh, protein shakes, do it. So next, introduce this black person to some new music, man. Because niggas, black people need to, you know, refine our conversation and, and, and music appreciation skills. Uh, next, I mean, besides that, travel. Next, assume that being with a black person is boring. Okay? Not that black person. But assume that, say, if you're a white woman, assume that being with a black, per or black woman for that black man was boring. This is where the variety comes in. This is where the traveling and the music and the and the culturing. If you have a black guy and not a nigga, which I should have spoken a little bit more, you know, assume that he's with you because black women just bored the fuck out of him. Because that's what a lot. That's what a couple of black men have told me. I'm with this white woman because she just shows me a lot of shit that's different. All right, I'm a vegetarian. I'm a vegan. I'm this. I've been to fucking Spain. I've been in Italy. I I actually ate real homemade pizza and spaghetti. I mean, a lot of people know how to make spaghetti. That's just the struggle. But a lot of black men have told me that they are not involving themselves with black women because they know how to be black already. They already know black culture. Why am I going to be with somebody who's from the exact same background that talks like me, that does this and that? All right. So that's it. So next you know, I would say have white people around you that are 
if you're de- if you're with somebody that's like a typical black person, I would say have a friend that's white, that's a typical black person. Right. I just lost. I caught it. That was a L. That was a L. But still does white shit. Ding ding ding. That was my. I got my W back. So that's neutral. But you know the black the the white person that's from the hood that's maybe not from the hood that had black step parents that still listens to rock and wears Nirvana shirts, but you're like, oh, you got some soul to you. Okay, okay, okay. Where you from? Okay, okay. That that white friend, you all, you, a lot of people, white people have friends like that. But, um, and then white friends that are not, okay, I'm not going to contradict myself by saying this. White people, white friends that are not racist, that are open to black culture, that have not really been exposed to black people. Because both having both of these friends around this black person are going to open a lot of doors, are going to stimulate a lot of parts of the brain that were not explored. Okay, and it's just a good idea. All right, try it, man. Try it, guy. All right, so next, be open to black culture, of course. Don't say, oh, no, no, that's some nigga shit. If you haven't tried soul food before and you're a vegan, of course, not if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, something so extreme like that, you know. <sighs> if you've never had soul food before, and you like to eat healthy, but you still eat meat. You still eat meat, nigga. Meat is still cancer, fat, and fucking bullshit. Okay, so you might as well go ahead and eat the soul food once or twice every Thanksgiving. But be open to hip hop. Be open to old rock and roll, because you know black people invented the banjo and rock and roll. So whatever the case, be open to black culture, though, bro. Be be an open-minded person in every situation. Okay, that's that's. That's called aggression. Having an open mind is a symbol, a symptom of aggression and and dominance. You have to know what you're doing in every situation. You have to be familiar with a lot of things, okay? If you're not, you're scared, and that's okay. But you're going to die. It's going to be bad, and you're not going to like it. All right, so next, I only got two more. Be open to the negativities and the struggles of being black. Stop telling black people that slavery didn't exist. Stop telling black people, oh, no, the police, the police are here to protect or serve you. No, the teachers, no, the inner city, poverty, being black's not that bad. No, bro. Be open to the fact that being black is a fucked up experience a lot of the times when you have to deal with everything outside your household, when you have to deal, when you have to turn on the TV, when you have to look at these ads, when you have to buy new shit, when you have to buy new clothes. These motherfuckers don't make shit for fucking black people. They make shit for small, little, petite European men, and they only go up to a size five, and and they, they don't make pants for niggas with big dicks. It happened. That's real. And if you're white, you probably don't know that. All right? Especially if you wear a lot of Polo Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren does not make big dick pants. Polo Ralph Lauren does not make nigga shirts. Okay? I mean, they do now, nigga, but damn. Alright? They don't... I haven't seen a light-skinned nigga on TV until... Until you watch a movie. Or until 2002, I haven't seen a, a black person even this skin color. All I saw was Zach's. Zach the Black... Power Ranger, okay, Zack the Black, okay, that's not totally true, yeah, there was Moesha, but, but, that's all I can think of right now, I'm hanging with Mr. Cooper, Cousin Skeeter, and then it will only be light-skinned niggas, or it, it would be niggas with big nigga lips like this big, and big nigga noses like this big, they wouldn't have normal looking, my lips are, nor- they're, they're medium big, but they don't, they're not like that, bro. You know? They didn't have they don't have black people. They didn't have black people that look like normal black people on TV. They've only had Zack the Black Power Ranger and obnoxiously fucking black featured people. That's the struggle, bro. That's a real struggle for somebody growing up. That's a, a child, nigga. So be open. To the struggles of black people in all extents, bro. If it's ignorance, say, like, nigga, that's ignorant, bro. That's not a real thing, but do your research and be open. Listen to that person's struggle, bro. Police will check you when you're a small child to make, make sure you know what the fuck the police are. White people don't have that problem, okay? 
Most teachers in the world are black, are white, and they will fuck with your child if they're black. Have that in your mind. Know that, okay? They're gonna say, uh, if you get this que- if you raise your hand and you get this question right, you get a stamp, and then I'm like, hey, I know that question. It's Christopher White ass cracker ass rapist Columbus, and they say, yeah, it is Christopher White ass rapist ass cracker ass Columbus. Aaron, you get a stamp. Oh, you can't get a stamp because your skin's too black. Okay, we'll give you a sticker. That's the struggle, bro. Like my skin wasn't too fuck. Like the bitch didn't even try to put the fucking stamp on my hand. And I was lighter than I am right now. I was a, about two shades lighter than I am right now when I was in kindergarten. Okay? That hurt me. It scarred me. It didn't scar me. It probably did. You know, I don't want to go into that. But, uh, yeah. And the last thing is, know about black culture, bro. Know about black sociology, bro. And I'm not talking about black, black, black. I'm talking about black. I'm talking about... I'm even talking about hood shit, bro. Know a little couple hood knowledges. Don't speak on things that you don't know about. I'm talking about the stop snitching. I'm talking about, you know, don't talk about people if you're not going to say it to their face. I'm talking about don't gossip. Well, don't gossip. That's just men shit. But just a certain type of shit. You didn't see shit. You didn't know shit. You know, that, like, whatever. You know, a lot of black people, they don't curse in front of their elders. A lot of black people, they treat children a certain way. They treat other people's children a certain way. They may or may not, depending on the depending on the family, they may or may not whoop somebody that's not their kid. They may or may not discipline somebody that's not their kid a certain way. They're not going to tell the fucking parent. They're going to be, oh, what'd you say? Come here, go in the corner. All right, hey, and then I'm going to wait till your mom comes back. Yeah, I smack this shit out your son. And now he's standing in the corner like a kindergartner because he said, you know, fuck Donald Trump. No, nah, I'm just kidding. But a lot of black people, and they whoop the other children in their family's kids when they're not their own parent. You know, a lot of black people do that. Not all of them. Not most of them. I wouldn't even know that. But you don't speak up. Of course, don't speak up like, hey, you shouldn't do that, man. Nah, bro. Just let the shit happen. All right? And then, you know, a lot of black people, a lot of, a lot of black people, not all of them, not most of them, they're pretty ignorant when it comes to nutrition and water and things like that, like carbohydrates and stuff and vegetables and fruits and fucking, you know, uh, you know, vitamins and nutrients. A lot of black people are, not all of them. You know, a lot of black people use a lot of funny words. A lot of black people do some jail shit. A lot of people that are black do, you know. Slave shit. A lot of black people that are black do, you know, um, correctional uh, measurements that are unnecessary in your um, in your mind. But it, it's that's what it is, man. So I want you to take all of this information. I want you to carry it. I want you to not actively, if it's unnecessary, don't say my name when you motherfuckers run into these situations and be like, oh, my guy Aaron Moses told me about that unless it's going to help you. And don't use this information to be ignorant and closed-minded and think this is the end-all, be-all. Because this is not the end-all, be-all. But if you're white and you're with a black person, I love you, man. It used to be, it used to make me very uncomfortable to see a white-ass, white nigga man with a black woman. It used to. It used to up until like three days ago. I don't know what happened. It just sprinkled away. But now, I'm okay with it. I want to be okay with it. I'm not going to say it makes me completely comfortable, but I want to be okay with it. I want to. I'm actively wanting, which is better than nothing. All right. Uh, But I'm not opposed to interracial relationships. My son is half devil. So I'm not going to say I just should You shouldn't just fuck with a white person. All right. Whatever the case is, man. I love you motherfuckers. I love all humans. I love all humans, man. I love everybody. I want you to take this information. I want you to pursue these white men and these black women and these and these white and these blacks in the way that you need to, in the way that is courteous, kind, loving, open-minded, number one, smart, intelligent, and emotionally mature. But that is all that I have for you. It's Aaron motherfucking Moses. Um, that's it, man. Free Palestine. Random. And betrayal. Peace.